And the government's asked independent experts to produce a report assessing the costs and benefits of EU migrants as part of plans to develop a new immigration system after Brexit. The Immigration Minister Brandon Lewis said it was a simple matter of fact that free movement rules would no longer apply after Britain leaves the EU. That means new rules to manage migration would be in place by spring 2019. Well, the Home Secretary has written in today's Financial Times laying out her views of a post-Brexit immigration system. Uh, she said, we need the most accurate picture possible of the extent to which the UK economy uses EU labour. Well, she also sought to reassure businesses there would be no cliff edge once we leave the bloc. And she concluded by saying that, put simply, the UK must remain a hub for international talent. Let's speak now to our assistant political editor, Norman Smith. Uh, Norman, some of the government's critics say it's a little bit late to be trying to find out how important migration is for this country. Well, I think there are a lot of questions about the timing of this inquiry because not only is it, what, more than a year after the referendum, but it's going to report just six months before we leave the EU. More than that, it'll be reporting after the government has drawn up its immigration bill. So the timing does seem a little bit odd and there's been a degree of confusion too, it has to be said, about the language that the Home Secretary has been using today and the Immigration Minister has been using because Amber Rudd seems to be saying she wants to have a more gradual, phased-in approach to any new rules on immigration, saying to business, I hear your concerns, we're going to listen to you. The Immigration Br Minister, Brandon Lewis, seems to have been adopting a, a much tougher approach, saying freedom of movement will definitely end on March 2019. We'll have a new system in place by then, quite unequivocal. Have a listen to what he said. Oh, we're very clear about this, as is the Home Secretary as well in her notes that she's outlined um, to the Commission. Free movement ends when we leave the European Union. But we've also always been very clear about having a smooth process that ensures that our economy continues to prosper. We're seeing jobs grow, more businesses invest in here. We want to see that continue. And the Commission's work will help inform what industry and sectors need within the new structure of immigration as we go forward. What has added to the sense of confusion, if you like, is this is a fairly significant announcement and yet it seems some ministers, senior ministers, just weren't in the loop, including the Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, who's in Australia at the moment, and he was asked at a press conference what he thought about the inquiry and clearly was caught on the hop. Well, I mean, the honest truth is I, I, I you bring me news of this report uh, today, uh, Phil. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I, I'm sorry if I, 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 I don't, uh, I can't comment on. It sounds, sounds like an interesting report. I can, I can give you, I can give you, or interesting potential report. I can give you, I can give you my views about immigration. I think immigration is broadly uh, a positive thing for societies if you allow talented people to come in a controlled way to great metropolises like London and Sydney. Well, not surprisingly, Labour have seized on this. The Shadow Home Secretary, Diane Abbott, insisting this morning that the proposed immigration bill shouldn't be published by the government until this commission has reported. And she challenged the timing of this whole inquiry. What we have to remember, and the government is only just realising, is there are many key areas of industry and social institutions that are dependent on EU migrants. Social care in London would collapse without EU migrants. They make a very big contribution to the NHS, to education, to financial services. It's belated of the government to start to understand their key significance, but they are significant. So where are we? Well, I think where we are is that the Home Secretary, Amber Rudd, is desperate to get business to have a bigger role, a bigger say in shaping the sort of immigration system we have post-Brexit. The difficulty is many in business feel they have been pretty much kept out of the loop up to now. More worrying from their perspective is they think time is now running out because obviously business have to make investment decisions often years ahead and they say they need to know now what this new immigration system is going to look like. OK, Norman, thank you. Norman Smith there, our assistant political editor.